welcome welcome back to mama joan house where it's hot and when i said hot guys i mean it hot like a scotch bonnet pepper today guys i'm gonna do a little fish fry for you i'm making my fish for easter and i'm just wanted to watch this video and come cook with me to see how i make my fish for easter because during easter like for the whole week for all of the week from monday go right back till easter monday i don't eat no farmer meat just straight up fish so i'm gonna do a bit of fish fry for you guys and let you see how i fry my fish for the easter guys okay so i'm gonna get everything together and then i'm gonna dive into the ingredients okay so guys as i said i'm gonna dive into my fish so here here you have i have some snapper i already wash clean it already and i season it already so it's pre-washed and pre-seasoned already so what i use and sweeten it is so sweeten <laughs> not sweeten what i use and season the fish with is i use some obey and um some garlic plus all and some maggi fish season with some black pepper okay so that's what i use to season my fish so i'm gonna take this over to the stove and get it fried but after i done fry then i'm gonna have to make the the topping so i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do for the topping so what i'm gonna do for the topping is one large carrot and two onions i love onions so i put two to one one large and a medium size onion so that is gonna make the topping for my fish when I finish fried okay guys all right so I'm gonna get with it so guys I have before you start fry your fish a good thing to do is to get a couple of garlic cloves you know like four and just put it in the oil when it's hot I kind of run out of garlic and I went to the store and I didn't realize that I didn't have any so I just find some little small pieces so this is going to have to work for me right now. So I just give it a little smash to take the, the, the trash off. Or you just put it in there with the trash, see where you smash it, doesn't matter. Okay, so that is that. Okay. All right, puppy. So guys, as you can see, my oil is well hot. I think it's a little bit too hot. So see my garlic is um frying in there and then I'm gonna put a, a fish in. Mm. As you can see, my fish is frying now, so now I'm preparing the topping. So I have one carrot, and this is how I cut it. Some small pieces. So one whole carrot, I'm gonna cut up in small pieces like that. And then with my one sweet pepper, a half a, half a ball pepper, yellow ball pepper, and a half a red ball pepper and onion so I'm gonna do two onion okay I love when my thing have lots of onion on it as it tastes so good and I like to eat the onions my kids them like to eat the onions nice and salty savory with the vinegar and the pepper. So guys, don't forget, you know, a scotch bunny pepper has to go on this, okay? Okay. So this is this. And I have my two 
Then I'm gonna go check on my fish, okay? See if it need a turn. Let's see how these bad boys coming along. Okay, these bad boys can fry some more before I flip it, okay? All right. So guys, as you can see, I finished frying my fish. So look at it. This is what it looked like. I finished frying it. So now I am going to get the... So for my topping, I have my onion, my ball pepper, my carrot, and my scotch bonnet pepper there on top. And I'm going to use some of the vinegar from this here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do right now is put some, some vinegar in the pot. This is hot vinegar. Okay, some vinegar. That's enough. Some vinegar here. Carrot first. I'm going to get some water to come back. Okay. So I'm going to add enough onion on it. Wow. Like, um, onion and the vinegar mm. and the pepper because I make some fresh um, pepper sauce with my scotchy that I grew last summer and that's it so this will cook up a little bit and I'm gonna put a little bit of thyme on it just get the <coughs> Guys, the scotch bonnet is <coughs> chilling me. This is called scotchy. Oh, God, my lord. Mm. Okay, so. Like this. Saute a bit. Alright. I'm going to waste nothing. Cut that. So, okay. I have to give it a little bit of flavor and a little bit of flavor, you know. Nice up the onion. Nice up the veggie. Okay. So, this is the same garlic plus. Nice up the veggie, I tell you. Ooh. Mm. Mm -mm. As we say, for the Easter, come on my house, eat up some of my fish and my bun. Make you wanna slap your papa. Mm. Mm. So put a little bit of salt. Sprinkle a little bit of salt over it. Not too much. Just a little bit of salt. Feel like you could have taken a little bit more vinegar. Give it that nice taste. And this is going to be so hot. Mm. My nose is running already. And I don't start eat any of this yet and my nose is running already. 
So this is it. I think it cook enough. Just leave it out the onion to cook a little bit and the carrot nice and crunchy. Alright, so now this is finished. So I'm gonna put it on our fish. Alright. Nice up the thing. There it goes guys. This is my Easter fish. Okay, this is my Easter fish. All right. So, let's bring it over here. There you go. So, anyway guys, this is how I prepare my fish, my fish for the Easter. And guys, I come to the end of my Easter fish video so I want you to watch it and try it my way and I also like to thank you guys again for supporting me and supporting my channel and I wanted to like <coughs> and I wanted to like subscribe and hit that post notification bell things of mine so that you don't miss a post when I post. As I said guys, my channel is gonna have cooking. Spring is, spring is coming along and I'm gonna be outside doing some gardening. So I'm gonna even give you tips on how I do my gardening for the spring too. Okay guys, so guys, like, subscribe and hit that post notification bell things of mine. And please guys, give me some likes for the fish, okay? Thank you very much and I see you in the next video.